Howdy, everybody. This is Steve KM9G, and I saw this on the Toads Discord this morning. This is Whisper Tools for the Zygu 6100, and I thought, this is where we were headed. This is awesome. Let's get this thing installed. The address for this website is in the description down below, and we need to clone this repo. If you haven't used Git before, just follow along. The commands will also be in the description down below need to go to the big green code button, click the code button, make sure it's set to HTTPS, and click the copy link right here. And then I need to go over to my Raspberry Pi. You can do this on any machine that you have. I just happen to have a Raspberry Pi and I like it. Um, you can do this on Windows, there's no reason not to. And you can do it on Linux because Raspberry Pi is Linux and you can do it on Mac OS. You can do it on all the things, they're all happy. All you need is SSH access and a little bit of know-how. First, let's get the files from the repo. I'm gonna do CD to make sure I'm in my home directory. I'm already there, but you should know where you're working so you know where all the folders are. And I'm gonna do git clone, clone, clone. I'm gonna paste in that web address that we just copied a few seconds ago. And it's gonna download these files. Okay, so these are all downloaded. Let's go in and take a look and see what we got. All right, so I have the license file, I have the readme file, I have the spotter loop py and i have the x6100 local.tgz tgz is a tarball that has been gzip compressed a tarball is just a tape archive that's where those phrases come from so let's go look at the instructions and see what's next unpack the tgz file into the file system root so i got to get it copied over there somehow and then i need to update etsy profile and i need to make sure i have a name server okay so let's get back to our command prompt i think I am 147. I am 146. So let's see if we can copy this. You will need to know the IP address of your radio in order to do this. Getting your radio configured on um, your network is a little beyond the scope of this video. I've done it in some previous videos. It doesn't work all that great. So. We'll have to deal with some of that as we move forward here. Yes, I want to copy this file. It's going to ask me my root password, super secret password. All right, that file copied. This other file is going to take a little bit longer. All right, that took way too long to get the files copied. The Wi-Fi on this radio is not all that great so far. So I got the file copied over. Let's take a look. It is in my home directory. Let's see what the next command is. The next instruction is unpack the x6100 local tar gz into the x6100 file system root. Okay. So we cd slash, which is the file system root, tar dash xzf for extract a zipped file with the name of that. So XCF, you can also do XVZF, but there's a lot of files in here. It's gonna take a long time to show that. I just wanna get it done. Poof. What this thing is doing is it's installing uh, the WhisperD software and it's installing the screen command and it's installing a bunch of other stuff. Now we've got that exploded into the root directory. Let's go back to the instructions. All right, update Etsy profile to add user local bin to the path. All right, so vi slash Etsy slash profile. And I want to add user local bin. We'll put it at the end. And I'm using vi, but I think nano is also on here. Yep, Nano is also on there, control X. All right, what's the next instruction? Ensure etsyresolve.conf has a name server. It does have name servers, excellent. Can we ping our friends over at Google? We can. Loving those ping times. Okay. So now what do we have to do? So let's see. All 
I'm going to update the path. In place, so I don't have to log out and log in again. Bad variable name. There we go. Don't put the dollar sign in front of the path at the command prompt. Only do that inside of scripts. Okay, next command, next step. Set the whisper frequency on the 6100. So if you look at the 6100 right down below there, you'll see it's on the 40 meter whisper frequency, 7038.6. And don't, don't worry about memorizing that. It's actually inside of the, the program file and it's searchable on the net. And it'll be in the description down below because I'm a nice guy. Another thing you're going to need to do is make sure that the mode is set on your radio to USB uh, or USB dash digital because all your digital modes are typically done in USB. So do that too. We did that. Edit frequency call and grid towards the top of spotterloop.py. So let's do that. Spotterloop.py towards the top. I want to pick the frequency. See, I told you they'd be in the file. Call sign, let's put in my call. And then grid, let's put in my grid. Let's get rid of the comment sign in front of that. And if you don't do this, it will complain. It will remind you that you didn't do this. All right, what is the next instruction? Run spotterloop.py on the X6100. Okay. So let's do dot slash. This is probably not gonna work. Oh, it did work. Um, I was thinking that the permissions wouldn't be set. And what are we complaining about? Multiple conflicting time zone configurations found in Etsy time zone. Etsy local time is a sim link to fix the configuration, set the time zone in a TZ environment variable. So let's say export TZ equals UTC. And let's run it again. That seems to be just a warning, not an actual problem. And so it's supposed to be running. All right, so while that is running and it's collecting some stats, uh, let's take a look and see what it says next. GNU screen is included to allow the spotter loop to survive disconnecting SSH. So we should be able to disconnect SSH. It did not return my command prompt back, so I can't log out, but I should be able to disconnect SSH and go on. Uh, let's see, we are on the 40 meter whisper frequency. Let me log in as myself to whispernet.org. And then I want to click map at the top, which is going to bring me to the page I'm already on. And I want to scroll down here and I want to pick 40 meters and I want to put in KM9G as my call sign. And then the latitude and longitude is where the map gets centered on your screen. Default zoom level of two, two is the whole world. Time period is the last 10 minutes. Day night overlay doesn't matter right now. Yeah, why not? Let's turn it on. And then let's hit update and see if we've got any spots received yet. No uploaded spots yet. Okay, so while we're waiting for some spots, let me show you what this code actually does. So this is written in Python. And in Python, you've got a bunch of functions and we'll get to the end of the functions and there's gonna be one called main. So there's the, the main function. The first thing it's gonna do is check to make sure everything's set up. And if not, it's gonna complain, exit, and tell you what you need to fix. We fixed all of that stuff ahead of time. It's looking to make sure that WhisperD is installed. It's looking to make sure that the um, configuration is set for which band and which call sign and which grid and all that stuff. And it will tell you if you did it wrong, but I already showed you how to do it right. So we're golden there. It's going to create a recordings queue. It's going to start a decode thread. And inside the decode thread, it's going to run a job where it's gonna do receive every two minutes and add it to the queue. And then it's gonna do a retry failed spot uploads every 30 minutes. And then it's gonna start the scheduler. And if all of that fails, it will try to put none into the recordings queue and then exit the program. So let's go up and look at the first thing, this do rx. Do rx is setting a file name of slash temp slash date time dot wave. We did see that. 
and then it's going to call out to the operating system to run the a record command which is going to audio record uh, from a, an audio device what type of file format it is so it's a 1200 kilohertz file that's going out to f name which is the variable we just talked about and then what's it going to do next retry failed spot uploads that's pretty self-explanatory upload spots it's going to make a request to whispernet.org with the uploaded data the decode thread is going to time how long it takes whisperd to run with its arguments when the frequency with the file name that we named down below the wave file that we named down below and then here's that part where it complains about uh, your environment not being set up properly so a pretty smart little program and i'm sure that more development will continue on this all right so we've got a couple so we recorded the wave file and there's that time uh, based file name dot wave that is 1200 kilohertz mono and then the whisper d did a decoding here is the time output of how long that took and then processing log upload processing took 37 milliseconds old database is now here excellent so now let's go back to the whispernet website and we should have one or two decodes not yet all right while we are waiting for some spots to upload i figured i'd tell you a little bit about what i know about whisper which is a very little bit and that is that Whisper stands for Weak Signal Propagation Reporter. And it's basically a way for you to test out your antenna configuration, your radio configuration to see how well you are hearing or to see how well you are heard. And you can find it in the WSJT suite of software, WSJTX, where you find FT8. And if you can FT8, you can Whisper. Whisper, um, basically what you want to do is set your station up as a whisper transmitter and you can get these as little tiny boxes that do the thing or you can just run it as your normal station with your normal radio and your normal antenna setup and what it's doing is everybody around the world is running whisper and listening and uploading to this whispernet.org like we just set up and then you can go on and you can map all of this stuff and once it's all mapped you can see what your propagation looks like in your area you can watch propagation changes if you just have one of these things set up you can watch propagation changes you know over a season over a day over a week over a month over a year over multiple years depending on how long you want to run this thing so that's kind of what i know about whisper all right finally we've got some spots on the map that's how it works there is a video right over here that I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome.